a pilot metal air gunner here just doing some quick testing it is pouring the rain that's what I was doing I went out and done some slug testing real quick and I'm happy <laughs> got a little bit of air gunning in before I got rained on all right here's the test trying to make this real quick I know my last video was like super long I don't want to bore anybody to death so what's my result what happened all right, I'm going to try to get a quick video in. I'm going to use some 34.7 grain Nielsen slugs this time. And I'm going to put some FP-10 on them. I'm just going to shoot five because I've only got 13 of them left. But I'm going to shoot five of them with and five of them without. And I'm going to see if there's a difference. I've also got my gun turned down to a slower speed. My original uh, video on these slugs was with the gun turned all the way up. Uh, I have seen where the, um, the larger slugs seem to group a lot better and they were moving a lot slower and I'm now seeing other people that are turning their guns down and they're getting excellent accuracy with these um, slugs so now that I've turned mine down for where my pellets are set I'm going to shoot these slugs and see what kind of power and speed I'm getting out of them and see if it's improved accuracy um, so let's see what happens and here we are results of 35 yards um, the only cool thing <laughs> that really came out with this, I didn't record it because I, I want to make a quick video, but the patterning. And there's a couple of things I, I would do. I'm going to make this a short video. I swear I am. <laughs> but this is without FP10. I, I looped these just to see what, what was going to happen. But, of course, I one, shot one, two three four and five but down here with the fp10 look at the patterning one two three four five now i wish i would have had this on the camera but that was pretty cool that's about the coolest thing that came out um i'm using the um nsa nielsen specialty ammo uh slugs these are 34.7 grain and the reason I wanted to, to check them is because I turned the speed back down um, on the guns and I watched Brothers in Air and he was getting excellent accuracy out of these and then they also have a, a new slug out that fits the uh, choke of the barrel pretty well so I wanted to try mine again I figured you know why not we'll just do it at 35 yards and same thing same exact thing I mean, I've got, I think it was two inches. We're going to look at this real quick. It's just, it's ridiculous for 35 yards. Yeah, I don't know. Inch and five eighths, probably. Over here, we're, we're doing all the way up to two inches almost two inches actually over two inches two in yeah two and an eighth so that's what we got um, and this is my question on this now uh, he said he had set his to stock tune now mine's not a stock tune because the stock tune mine was set really really low um, it was still a, a, powerful and accurate but um, it's tuned now uh, for my air arms 25.4 grain um, if you've seen the video it's it likes to run it, it'll run three magazines which is 30 shots uh, around 850 up to close to 900 but it it'll stay those first two mags will stay about 870 to 890 in that range in the 870s 890 range so it though that works really well it's really accurate for me um but my curiosity is the huma or huma regulator however you want to pronounce it is that creating maybe a different kind of pressure uh in the gun or, or um I don't understand how that much consistency because you, you can see how close a lot of the shots were. I, I'm, I just wrote these down on paper. 
I need to put them up here clearly, but I'm just going to show them. These are the numbers that I got. This is the without being lubed and with being lubed. And I'll put up uh, the average of both on here. But I, I can't get accuracy at all. I can't get any accuracy out of them. Uh, maybe your flash pup will do it. Mine will not do it. Um, Bose Nair has his doing it, and I'm just really wondering: is the does the regulator create uh, some kind of um, uh, it could even be at, at atmospheric pressure inside of the tube? I don't know what it does. I don't know exactly what it does. I know you know your shots are. are are going to be a lot more, especially out long range, when, when uh, they're, they're shooting within a few feet per second, a lot more accurate. This is 35 yards, so uh, at 35 yards, you've seen what it'll do with, with the pellets. It's not a problem, and these got a better ballistic coefficient. So my question is, uh, any, is does anybody else out there have one with a, with a regulator in it that will shoot slugs well? I'd like to know um, because eventually I am going to put a regulator in mine and I'll go back and, and try the slugs. I do want to uh, try, they, they have a, a new one instead of uh, the 20, uh, 25, I, I think it's a 24 something, I don't know on the size, but it's supposed to fit, uh, fit the uh, choke on the barrel a little better. So I don't know, we're going to find out. Uh, eventually in the future I'll have to test that if I do to get a regulator and get me some more and check this or it may just be my my barrel I may be one of the unlucky ones that won't shoot you never know I would like to hear from anybody else out there who has uh, has one with a regulator and shooting these through it to see if that could be why they're so accurate with uh, with the slugs if it's doing something to uh, to help the gun shoot them better I don't know but either way that that's what I came up with and I really do thank you all for watching uh, I promise to make this a short video so I'm shutting up and I'm out of here